Minnesotans of Afghan descent are hoping their friends and relatives who helped allied forces will safely get to the U.S. Some Afghan refugees are expected to resettle close to or in Minnesota. WCCO's Rich Chapman has more on how families who have already resettled plan to help. What began as Crescent Moon Bakery 20 years ago is now known as Football Pizza. The owner, Mirwas Azizi, came here as a refugee 34 years ago. Came to the state when I was uh, uh, 14 years old. Watching the events unfold in his home country has him concerned. He wants to help those who are in the same situation his family was in when they escaped Afghanistan back in the 1980s when Russian forces invaded. We love to help them out, you know, that's, uh, I mean, they're, uh, they're, they're the people of our country and also their human being. Azizi wants to help with jobs and offer mentorship to any Afghan resettling in or near the Twin Cities. Tabassum Sadozi also knows the struggle Afghan refugees wanting to resettle will face. My parents were refugees and, you know, I knew what it was like growing up poor. They had to work for everything, you know, basically we have the American dream. We have a restaurant here. It's Ariana Bistro gives Minnesotans a taste of Afghanistan. This family-owned business has started a GoFundMe to get people what they need to survive when they reach the U.S. We want to give that same opportunity to refugees that come here and share their culture. Resettlement agency Arrive Ministries is looking for landlords. When the State Department selects a family to be resettled here to Minnesota and taps Arrive Ministries, uh, one of the key things we, we need to do is find safe, sanitary, affordable housing uh, that's on a bus line. Uh, and sometimes we uh, get all of 24-hour notice. And host families who can let refugees stay from two days to two weeks until permanent housing is found. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. According to the Minnesota Department of Human Services, special immigrant visas have been granted to 35 refugees and 65 more are expected by September. Arrive Ministries is looking for volunteers to help when they get here. We have a link to the GoFundMe and information on how you can volunteer at WCCO.com.